90 minutes north of Tallahassee, Florida, on Highway 319 is the small town of Carabelle. In Carabelle, it's easy to find the two gas stations, the hardware store, and the favorite diner. However, to find the police station, you'd have to follow the town's one police officer, Marvin Braswell. You'd have to follow Marvin because if you follow the local residents' directions, you'd probably never find the police station, and if you did find it, you'd never believe it. All right, uh, our police station's right across from the George Jackson service station, next door to the Swanee grocery store, and right behind the post office and underneath the town of Berry Tree. That, that kind of narrows it down, I think. Carabelle has the world's smallest police station. Carabelle Police. Marvin and the townsfolk told us why they like their precinct. Mostly just got phone booth out here to where we can be out, not have to be in the building all the time. So it's just a gathering place and most of down here by the phone booth. It's a central located place that they, and the phone's there and they ring there and if they use it, they, when they need the police, they know where to get them. They know it's just a good place for them to be. Well, that is unique. That's a nice station there. Well, we think we have one of the greatest police stations in the state of Florida, also one of the smallest. Marvin used to have a deputy who transferred to a larger station. Well, we had one guy work with us. He didn't weigh but 375 pounds, so he had a little trouble getting in the booth and answering the phone. <laughs> but most times we can handle it pretty good. If we have such little crime here, we don't need anything any bigger. This day, a Sunday, Marvin sat around three hours waiting for the first call. Then the caller didn't want the police, he wanted the fire department. Some of them slip up and set it off. Whoever done it, dang sure done it in a bad time. I'll run back down there and tell them then. Yeah, got a little excitement, got everybody stirring around a little bit. Yeah, it's got a few of them out of church probably. <laughs> Yes, it's a little more excitement going on today than fire and call or two. Usually we don't have anything, just a good quiet Sunday. Some Sundays I go in and go to church and just let it go by itself. I've been on about 16 years now, and been chief 15 of that. You know about 80% of the people by first name. How you doing, old timer? You sit here long enough, you wave your arms, lay them off waving at them. <laughs> yeah, it's out here on the main street. We just got it here where we can be out here and watch everybody and circle town and check doors all every night, shake every door in town two or three times a night there. We just be out here where we can see everything that's going on. Marvin not only parks next to the phone booth waiting for calls, but he parks there to keep people from stealing Carabelle's police station. There was a gentleman pulled up over at the police uh, phone, and he came over to me and asked me if I would help him load the booth on. That he wanted to take it back to Tennessee with him. And I found out him and George were about to go to war about it. So I finally told him it'd be the best him get on out of town there for we got in a lot of trouble about trying to get our phone booth. Uh, we put it there and we wanted to stay there. 